Yo, what's up guys? It's Chugs, and in today's video, I'm doing an update on my Battle Beaver Pro Controller, which is this right here. Get up close and personal. And the Pro Controller um, that I got from Battle Beaver has the clicky buttons. I don't know if y'all can hear that. And then also back buttons on the back. This is my jump on the left side and then melee on my right. All right, so what is this? Eight months. I bought this back in January 16th of this year or received it on that date. Uh, but all I can say is to sum it up is I have no issues at all. Still works the same as day one no drifting at all um i play on 0 0.04 0 0.05 dead zone so if if there were drift i would know because that's some sensitive stuff right there and i also play on the highest sense um buttons feel the same as day one uh, nothing's getting stuck cookie as as anything that you can click on especially on the mouse <laughs> um oh what is this but yeah, guys, I mean, if you're still on the fence about getting this controller, it has to be just just because of the price, to be honest. Because 220 bucks plus tax, that's not cheap at all. And I was able to sell uh, one of my other PS5 controllers and just get this, you know. And then, you know, it was like $70 off, so I got this for like 210, 220 minus 70, 150. Um, still expensive. But if you want to be professional, or if you can't play Claw, this is like the controller to get, to be honest. And looks the same as day one. Just look at it. It's crispy. Like, it looks brand new. Only thing is, I haven't cleaned the back. And I've been playing, like, every night, three to five hours. Just get some, what, some Lysol wipes. Some Clorox wipes. And it'll, it'll look freaking brand new, man. But if you're not in the market to spend $220, I do have an alternative, alternative, um, and it will be on the video that's after this one, if you guys want to watch it. So you don't have to do this, but I did buy a PS5 controller. Uh, I wanted all black. So I got all black. And then, of course, shout out to Extreme Rate. Uh, if you guys ever heard about them, look them up on YouTube. Well-known uh, third-party company that makes accessories for the PS5. Especially like to, to like like this right here. This is for adding back buttons to the back of your PS5 controller. Um, so I'm gonna add that, and this is around 30 bucks. This right here is the uh, triggers to make it mouse click as well. Uh, these were like I think 20 bucks off Amazon as well. And then this right here is the front facing button. So all the buttons that are right here. These are going to turn into clicky buttons, the square, triangle, circle, X, and then the D-pad. Uh, this isn't, and then the buttons right here aren't. But all the front-facing buttons right here will be clicky, and then also the triggers. Um, so if you think about it, say if you didn't want to get a black controller, so this right here is with like 70 bucks. If you were just to buy the Remat kit, and it, come, it does come with a different back. Uh, I'll show you in the video that I make after this. Uh, this is like 30 bucks. Um, the front facing buttons or clicky buttons are $16. So that's 46. This is around 20 for the uh, trigger buttons or trigger mouse click buttons. That's another 20. So you're looking around like, uh, like 60 bucks plus. And for $60, you can basically make a professional gaming controller um, rather than spending 220 on a Battle Beaver Pro controller or 200 plus. And that's just the freaking triggers on the top and then the back buttons. Imagine doing the front facing button. That's like a, probably another $100 right there. So 300 plus, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, guys, if you guys wanna watch that video, it'll be after this. Like, subscribe, game, it's Chugs. Y'all have a good day. Peace. <laughs>